Alright guys, in on the suffocation pit today, trying out a pretty interesting Huntress build. Something that I like to call the anti-Deadheart build. Um, if you guys didn't know, Deadheart is probably one of the biggest counters towards Huntress. Just because survivors can pretty much predict the hatchets uh, when thrown at a distance. So yeah, pretty strong perk against her. So what we're running is the exhaustion hatchets, as well as fearmonger, to try and sort of counter that, if we can. And it sounds like someone's working on the gen here. Yeah, it looks like we found the Nia straight away. Where is she off to? Nice. It's a good first hit. And yeah, now she is exhausted, so no dead heart as an option. Alright, she's going to leave this main area, which is surprising. And she's in a bit of a dead zone here. She's going to try and play around this tree, which she's doing really well, to be fair. But we'll be patient. And uh, we'll eventually get that down straight away. I'm not sure if these guys are on comms at all. No idea, but they had a few thousand hours. See some scratches here as well. Interesting. Alright. On the Scorch took. Um, barbecue and chili. I think I saw two in that gen there. And that's about it. Alright, we'll go check on that. Let's quickly reload first. Oh yeah, they managed to get it done in time. Nice. Alright. Saw the Fangman just camping that corner there. Ooh, almost did it. Ah, uh, back to back. She's in trouble here. Oh, I don't know what that was. Don't ask me what that was. That was pretty pathetic. But, either way, we'll take that free M1 there. Of course, we don't have to wait out dead hard. Um, if we hit them with our hatchet first up. Because they'll be still exhausted. Um... I don't know where to go from here. Okay, we'll go in this corner right here. And we'll give this gen a quick kick as well. And this should give us some really, really good information from barbecue because we're really far away. Okay, I see one person healing. And that's about it. Ooh, okay. There's a boon totem over here. Let's get rid of that. Looks like they got the save. Um, we'll give this another kick. I don't know where they are, though, to be honest. Oh, here we go. Here's the Drake. He's just about making that window there. We should probably get rid of that wall at some point, but not yet. I think we can get a hit here. Oh, so close, so close. Yeah, okay. We're going to have to get rid of this wall. Let's see if we can cut him off. Yeah, we can actually. He didn't expect me to double back there. Oh, what was that? He lost all his distance. Oh, very good, very good. Can we catch him out here though? No, not quite. Good crouch there to uh, lower his hitbox. He's going to do it again. Oh my god, we are misplaying this. And we're completely out of hatchets now, but never mind. He outplayed himself. The thing is, when you run out of hatchets, if they're not counting, they might still think you have some. And that's probably what happened just there. Alright, on the score shook. See one on barbecue over there. And hold on. This gen's about to pop. Oh no, these gens are going quite quick actually. Let's see, I don't know where this person went. But we'll give it a kick anyways. Alright, I just saw a Nia in this corner here. Just sort of sneaking around. Is she around here? Yeah, she is. She is, actually. Nice. We'll just about get that hit there with our hatchet. So she will be exhausted. Ooh, very close. Very, very close. Alright, someone's on that gen there. But uh, we got to catch up to this Nia as soon as we can. This is really bad. She's leading me away from the gens. Which is uh, smart from her. Wow, okay. She dropped it straight up. Wasn't expecting that. Nice. We'll double back here. Ooh, that prediction here was kind of clean. I didn't even see her, but uh, the prediction was spot on. Alright, let's quickly reload. No, wrong button. And uh, we'll go for the hook. Oh, no. 
We had a 3 gen going, but now it's completely gone. Because this Nia led us to the other side, which was really smart. Alright. Let's get rid of this boon over here. I hear it. And, uh, we got a lot of work to do, guys. Only two gens left. Oh, hold on. What are you doing? Was she 99 in sprint burst? I'm not sure. She, uh, was just kind of unaware there. <laughs> That's alright. We'll take that. Are you going to go for that window? You don't make that window. We just about get that hit. Um, I didn't see. Was that deliverance? I think it must have been. I see her in that corner over there. Could you imagine if that hit? That was such a tight angle. Alright, we should probably get a move on here, so let's go for the thing. Um, we'll make that score shook as well. And, yeah, we're in serious trouble though, guys. Only two gens left, and they're probably both 99. We'll have to see. Oh, yep. Yeah, this gen's about to pop. Oh my god, it's so close. Alinea. Nice. Get that first little hit through the window. What can we do here? Alright, Nia. She's just going to loop us in a, pretty much a dead zone here. She's kind of screwed. We are pretty slow, though. Nice. I'll take a free hit if I can. Oh, she's not going for the window. We'll still take the hit here. She's not going to make that window. Nice. We'll take an M1. Save our hatchets for now. Oh my god, this is terrible, guys. That gen is that gen on our right is about to pop as well, so I think that's GG's. But this Scorch Hook will help us just slightly. You can see it popped through that wall there. Oh no, never mind. It's actually not got that much progress. Way less than I thought. Alright. That's actually good then. That means none of the other gens have been worked on. But uh, unfortunately, I think we might have to camp the area here. Don't think we have much choice. Hold on. Oh, well played. Well played. She went on the other side of the hook there. So I couldn't really do much. But um, they'll get the one for one. And that's actually fine with me because I'm hooking on a scorch hook. So the one for one trades are actually really, really good. There we go. And that time it hit this gen over here, I think. Which is basically on zero. But I see a thing over there. Oh, so close. Thought she might um try and double back there. Nice. That's actually huge. Hold on. This could be a really quick down if she's not careful. Nice, nice. Just got her on the edge of that tree's hitbox, which is really, really clean. All right, back to this Scourge Shook. Getting so much value out of it. I'm not going to lie, guys. And is she dead on hook? I'm not sure. She is. Okay, that's really, really good for us, actually. That's going to take away a lot of pressure. And uh, we might just maybe be able to hold on to this last gen. Alright, looks like they healed. And I see Jake over here, actually. This gen has some progress. We'll give it a kick. Where is he? I think he's on the other side of this wall. Oh, so close. Fraction earlier, and that would have uh, that would have connected. Anyways, we'll make do. Oh, there's so many loops in the middle of this map, guys. Yeah, he's going to run through it that first time. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. He went to the wrong side. If he went to the right there, I don't think we get him. But, uh, these Oh, the moonwalk. I think the moonwalk helped there. And he is in big trouble. I uh, don't think he's dead on hook, though. That's the only problem. And no Scorch Shooks on this side, weirdly. Alright, that's still regressing. I see one over there. This gen's on zero. Alright, let's just go check on that fire gen really, really quickly. Ooh, it's close, guys. It's close. No one's on it at the moment, though. We'll give that a kick. Luckily, it's in a dead zone, which is pretty good for us. So if anyone goes for it, uh, it's going to be very, very risky. And I think someone's going for the save right now. Oh, I see them. Just saw the knee here through the wall. She's on the other side of this rock. Yeah. She's going to run through it the first time. Good survivors always do that. 
Nice. Wow. Well played, actually. Didn't see that coming. Nice. That'll be a hit, though. And I'm really worried, guys. Oh, so close. We needed that. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I can't really commit to this. Because that fire gen's going to pop any second now. I might have even left it too late already. Yeah, look how close it is. Oh, my God. Do we make this? Damn it. We don't make it. It was so close, guys. But uh, we messed up. We messed up big time. Although, she's not going to get much distance here. No dead heart on her, obviously. That's a real shame, guys. If we left, like, maybe 10 seconds earlier, it could be a completely different story. Although, where's the other gate? There it is. We might be able to do something here. Depends if they've got that gate 99 already. Let's have a quick look. They haven't. All right. We might have a salvation here if we can get a... Uh, get some hatchets, maybe, and defend the gates. It's going to be tough, though. That's for sure. Oh, that was close. That should have hit, I reckon. See the Jake right here. And we got to get the down really, really quick, guys. That's a really good first hit. Oh, good dodge. Good dodge. Wow, this guy's played that really well, actually. Nice, nice. All right, back to that other gate if we can, if it's not 99. Otherwise, no. Nah. Okay, fair enough. That's fair enough. Can't do much about that. And off she goes. Oh, well, 3K is still good. And uh, definitely a win in my books. So we'll take it. And yeah, really, really strong build, guys. Give it a go if you haven't already. The anti-Dead Hard build. Um, obviously, Dead Hard is really, really popular at the moment. So yeah, definitely worth the shot. Um, but GG's. Well played. And that's about it for the video, guys. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it if you did. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.